Hey everyone, welcome to part two of our data science series. In the previous video, which if you haven't checked out, it'll be linked somewhere here. Just make sure to go and take a look at it. In the previous video, I talked about what the data sciences are, who should pursue a data science degree, what are possible outcomes out of it, and most importantly, what does the curriculum at some of these popular places look like from a data science master's degree perspective. I also promise that I'm gonna come out with my top five data science programs in the US, and that's what is gonna be within this video. So stay tuned if you are a master's in data science applicant. This is the perfect video for you to know what the top five and I'll probably give you two or three more bonuses at the end as well. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining in. My name is Suraj. I'm the co-founder at Gradvine. I'm also a Carnegie Mellon alumnus where I studied my master's degree in energy and data science. So that makes me a little bit of an expert in the whole field of data science. I've also practiced data science for about six years now. And so I can understand what parts of the curriculum make sense for who. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you my top five masters in data science degrees in the US. All right, before we go ahead though, keep in mind that there is no individual ranking out of these five. I'm not telling you that X is number one, Y is number two, etc. There's no ranking within these five, but these five we think constitute the top five degrees to aim for and achieve for your master's in data science. All right, let's start with number one. New York University, one of the oldest masters in data science program that's offered by the CDS at NYU, one of the best places that you can get into. Given the fact that it is in New York City, given its proximity to a lot of the finance industry, the data science industry, all of these factors make NYU probably a really good option for anyone who's looking for a master's in data science. It's a 36 credit degree, which means that you have the availability of core courses and electives, about five core courses, and as many as seven electives. In terms of the core courses, here's an interesting mix. They mandate the capstone project. Unlike most of the other universities, capstone, which is the project that matches your theoretical understanding with the practical application for a particular domain is mandatory at NYU. It's a, a year and a half or a two year in, in total to complete your 30 credits and a fantastic place to be. Given the fact that it's one of the oldest masters in data science degrees standalone that's being offered by any university in the world, this definitely makes our top five. Before we move on to the next university in our top five masters in data science, if you're a computer science aspirant and want a similar video, please comment below. The second degree that I'm gonna to talk to you about is from my alma mater, Carnegie Mellon. The Carnegie Mellon Computational Data Science course also 100% belongs in the top five masters in data science courses. This is slightly different from the other ones though in, in general because of its focus on data engineering. In general, it's focus on the information systems aspects and not so much on the computational stuff, right? For that reason, if you are someone who wants to become a data engineer, CDS is probably one of the best courses that you can apply to. Some of the core courses, common core courses look like machine learning, cloud computing, interactive data science, which is the use of um, Python notebooks, et cetera, to actually put the entire workflow that you have in a visual manner for whoever is consuming. In terms of concentration, you have the regular analytics concentration, you have the systems concentration, and a very unique human-centered data science concentration. So given the fact that it comes from one of the best tech schools that's out there, Carnegie Mellon's computational data science program makes it into our top five. At number three, my pick is the University of Michigan's Masters in Data Science. This is a relatively newer sort of program that has um, come out from the School of Literature, Science and Art at the University of Michigan. Unlike some of the other universities that are out there that are offering tracks and concentrations, etc., the University of Michigan's data science program is focused on two very, very specific aspects. One is the math or the statistics, the probability systems, etc. And the second is the computational or the programming ability required for you to excel at data science. Like I said, Michigan does not offer any tracks, but has a bunch of core courses in discrete math, programming, data structures, which you will probably not get as a core course at some of the other data science courses, probability and statistics. Given the fact that a lot of research labs seem to be based out of the University of Michigan and its cutting edge work for Uber, for self-driving, etc. Michigan's data science program also makes it to our top five. 
At number four is the University of Minnesota's Masters in Data Science. This also, unlike some of the other universities that offer the data science course, offers tracks but there's a very, very interesting track that's offered here. Before going into the tracks, it's a two year, 31 credit program with up to nine electives and three credits on offer for a capstone project. Apart from these, it has three solid tracks, one in statistics, the second in algorithms, and the third in infrastructure and computing with six credits for each one of these. So every student that's getting into the program is advised to do every single track, is also advised to take up the capstone project project and cumulatively over a period of two years do 31 credits. Given this flexibility and up to nine elective system, University of Minnesota's data science program also makes it to our top five masters in data science. And at fifth position is the newest entrant into the masters of data science series. Duke University, given its masters in interdisciplinary data science, which was only started in 2018, has been making leaps and bounds of changes in terms of the curriculum, has been focused on student outcomes, and therefore makes it to our top five. At Duke University, it's a two year interdisciplinary data science degree with 42 credits, out of which 12 credits are for electives. One of the most important things that makes this particular program stand out from everything else is the summer internship. Yes, students, summer internship is a mandate at Duke's MIDS program. Both by yourself as well as with the help of the career center, that summer internship is going to become the pathway for you to get a full-time role after graduating from the Duke MIDS. In terms of core courses, data engineering, national language processing, a unique course that's offered as part of the core, machine learning, and ethics of data science. All of these constitute the core courses. And because of all of these reasons, Duke has entered our top five masters in data science. I told you at the beginning of the entire series that I'm going to be giving a bunch of bonuses as well. So here are my two bonus masters in data science courses that you can look to pursue. One is Indiana University based out of Bloomington. The second is Texas A&M based out of College Station, Texas. Okay, so those were my top five plus two masters in data science. Also, you should know that we at Gradvine have been able to put in students to every single one of these programs and many, many more. So if you are one of the aspirants that's looking to go get a master's in data science or a computer science degree abroad, make sure to schedule your free consultation because we will be the best partners for you to make that dream of going and studying abroad come true. The link to schedule your free consultation call will be in the bio. That's all from me from this video. This is Suraj, the co-founder of Gradvine, signing off. Take care.